So what do producers want in your script? I get asked all the time, who decides what movies to make? Simple answer to that complicated question is producers. Producers decide what movies to make. So then you might be asking, well, what do producers want in a screenplay? If you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get notified every time we have a new video about the reading process in Hollywood. And in case you don't know, I'm Carolyn J. Carpenter, and I have read thousands of screenplays for producers in Hollywood. And now I actually train people how to become readers for the film industry. So if you wanna know more about that, you can watch this video to learn more about being a reader. So ultimately, deciding what movie to do next falls into the hands of a producer. Why? Because the producer is the one raising the money to make that movie. Making movies costs money. And so often because the producer is the one holding the purse strings, the producer decides where to spend that money and therefore which movies get made. Now, sometimes a writer who really wants to make sure that their project gets made will become a producer and raise the funds to make that movie. Often that writer is also a director. Sometimes they're even an actor. So sometimes it will be someone who is a producer, a director, a writer, and an actor all in one because they really want to make sure that their story gets told in the way that they intended. So here are some examples of such movies. You have Woody Allen, produces, directs, writes, and acts in a lot of his movies. You have Citizen Kane, Orson Welles, wanted to make sure that he got the thing that he wrote to the screen. Brothers McMullen, another great example of a writer who wanted to see his story get to the screen. Say what you will about these films, whether you like them or not, the writer took the reins of their own project and got that script to the screen by becoming a producer. So sometimes an actor will become a producer so that they can pick a project that really resonates with them and they can act in it or sometimes they might pick a project that they really wanna get behind and support because they understand the process. Sometimes a writer will become a producer to launch their acting career or launch their directing career or both. And sometimes this approach of taking a screenplay and then being the writer, the producer, the director and or the actor will launch that person into becoming an A-list Hollywood player, even building their own studio in Atlanta. So what is this sparking for you? Are you a writer and it's totally overwhelming to think about producing your own work? Well, let's talk about those producers that don't necessarily want to star, direct, or act in their pictures. What does this mean for you? Go ahead and hit that like button and then leave in the comments what you think about those kind of writers that are paving their own way and where do you fall on the spectrum? So that's one kind of producer, someone who has a story inside of them that they really want to tell. They're either a writer, a director, an actor, and they want to make sure that that movie gets made. And so they become a producer and they take the reins of the project. But that's not all producers. There are also producers that just want to find that amazing screenplay that has a hidden gem that they want to just get it to the screen. There are a lot of producers like that. But honestly, it's kind of the same thing, right? They both are passionate about telling the story. So if you're a writer and you don't necessarily want to produce your own project, you still need to write with the same vigor as someone who is going to put their own money and going to raise the money and going to get that script to the screen no matter what. You still approach writing your screenplay in the same way. And when you pull a reader in with your vision and your passion, you will in turn pull a producer in with your vision and your passion. It really is that simple. Structure, formatting, all of that, there are a lot of places to learn that, but passion, and vision, you have to generate that on your own. So right from the same place of all of these people that produce their own work, right from that place of passion, find your vision, find your voice, and right from there, you will create a screenplay that a reader will love and therefore a producer will love. Follow the greats and make it happen. You got this. If you want to learn more about how to become a reader so that you can find those hidden gems, you can join me for a free masterclass at hollywoodgatekeepers.com forward slash free masterclass. In that class, I will dive into all the nuances of becoming a reader. And while you're at it, be sure to check out this video so you can see how to impress a reader.